Hey, what's going on guys? So I just want you guys to know that, you know, I'm not too proud to learn, to keep learning. Uh, I never want to say I'm a know-it-all, but um, here's just a little bit more information on, you know, just a safety tip in handling the uh, polymer chemical. Um, you know, I, I was, I really actually had on the wrong type of latex glove. Now it may have given me some protection, but when you read the, um, the information on these glove boxes is very important to pay attention to uh, if the gloves is good for wearing for handling chemical solvents. Now the gloves I was wearing uh, is basically just five mil, you know, which is basically five thousandths of an inch. Um, the gloves that I should have been wearing is seven mil, which is heavy duty gloves, which is seven thousandths of an inch. So what are the uh, use information going to tell you about the five mil gloves well it's only going to tell you to uh that it's only used for you know light duty cleaning general maintenance and painting so it doesn't tell you anything about using it for you know chemical solvents so that really wasn't the, the size glove i should have been using however the one i should have been using the seven mil which is a seven thousand of an inch latex glove is the one that I should have been wearing okay that's the uh, box on the bottom with the dark blue uh, latex glove there hanging out now uh, the gloves don't have to be dark blue to be <laughs> seven uh, millimeter or seven thousandths of an inch uh, they, they can come in other colors too so I just want to <laughs> make sure I get that across okay so look at the information for you see it says uh, provides protective barrier against dirt grime, oil, chemical, and solvents. You see, that's the size I should have had. The uh, 7,000 of an inch latex glove. So the beauty of the 7,000 of an inch uh, latex glove, it really is more durable. It doesn't rip as easily. Uh, whereas the 5,000 of an inch glove rips fairly easy. Uh, you can see with the two comparison photos, uh, the one scissor, it stretched the material but didn't penetrate. The other glove went straight through. So when handling the uh, polymer chemical, make sure that you have the right protective thickness a latex glove on. And so look for the uh, 7 millimeter, which is the 7,000 of an inch a latex glove.